number three. Sixteen and equals nineteen. Okay, because what are they doing every time? They're adding three. Okay, so we're just going to formalize that a little bit today. Okay, and we're going to talk about a formula that deals with that. So, an arithmetic, this is an arithmetic sequence. All it is, is a sequence. In which the difference between any two consecutive terms is And the common difference is just basically it's that difference that we talked about. So it's the numerical difference. And we're going to talk about it as being, we're going to call it D for difference. Okay, between any two. Okay, so here, what was our common difference? What did you guys tell me it did? It added three. Okay, so our common difference, our D, would be a three. Nothing earth shattering quite yet, huh? Nope. All right, so. We have to say if it is a arithmetic sequence or not. And if it is, we're going to talk, we're going to say what the common difference is. Okay, so number one, is there a common difference? There is. What is it? So we're going to go yes, and D equals four. Because we're adding four every single time. Why no? Yeah, because they add two and then they add two and then what happens? They add three. So that doesn't have a common difference, so we're going no. Okay, and number three. Yes, and what are they doing? They're minusing two. So my common difference is going to be a negative two. There you go. Yeah. 
minus 11. There you go. Or you could write plus to negative 11. That's fine. I'm not going to mark that wrong. Okay, now we're plugging in negative 3 times. What, what term are we finding? Same as all the front? Right? Times 18. Negative 54. Minus 11 is. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. We got to figure out how to do different. Are we going up or down? Are we? We're going up because we're going from the negatives eventually to the positive. So I'm sorry, we screwed that up. This shouldn't be a negative 3. This has got to be a positive 3. I knew something was funny. So we've got a positive 54 minus 11. What do we get? 43. Everybody, I want everybody to do number 14. 14. Okay, so we've got a sub n equals, what's my common difference? Negative 5. Negative 5. What else goes in my parentheses? N minus 1. N minus 1. And my first term? 15. Minus 15. So, negative 5 times 18, because we're still trying to find our 19th term. Minus 15, so negative 5 times 18 was negative 90. Negative 90. Minus 15 gave us a negative. Okay, yeah, those two that did 13, that's totally okay. You got 34, that means you did it right. I'm not super concerned about you. Alright, so let's look at those two real life applications that are out there. Alright, it's always a good idea. What I always do is I always find number one, my first term, okay, or my starting point, and number two, what my common difference is going to be. So you're at your visit to the Grand Canyon and you drop a penny off the edge of the cliff. The distance the penny will fall is 16 feet for the first second, 48 feet the second second, 80 feet the third second, and so on. Okay, so my A sub one. What was my first term? So after the first second, it went 16 feet. Okay. My common difference, terrible because it's going from 16 to 48. 32. There you go, 32. Is it also, make sure you check, is it also 32 from 48 to 80? Yes. All right. So then we can write our formula. Okay, so then equals 32, so that's my common difference. Then what? N minus 1 plus 16. So now that we know how far down it's going to be after 6 seconds. Okay, so now we've got 32 times what's N minus 1? 5. 5, yeah, because you're going 6 minus 1. And then plus 16. So what is my 32 times 5? 160. 160 plus 16 gives me 176 what? Feet. Yep, just feet. So they're saying that after 6 seconds, my penny will have fallen 176 feet. Well, you die if you jump off the down thing. Okay, so you are going. To, you've got a new car. You've got a loan for fifteen thousand two hundred and sixty-five dollars, and then it's withdrawing two hundred ninety-five dollars and eighty cents each month to pay that car off. Okay, so your A sub one is. $15,265. That's how much money your loan is starting out with. Be careful with your common difference. Your common difference is good. They're withdrawing money, and if you withdraw money, is it going to be positive or negative? It's going to be negative. So it's going to be negative 